And it'd be good to like switch gears for a second away from, you know, the work side of things. And uh, like outside of work, what would you say is like your main passion or the things that you love to, you know, spend your time mostly doing? I love cooking. Like I fucking love cooking. Like being like half Italian, like we just grew up with food constantly. Yeah. Whenever I go away on holidays, we just get force fed until we just came back as fat little babies, which we did. <laughs> It was definitely a fat little baby for a long time. And then obviously, like I grew up above a chipper as well when I was a kid. So I had a, I had, you know, a hyper palatable diet for a long time and I loved it. It was beautiful. It was fantastic. Um, but not something you'd keep up necessarily <laughs> into your adulthood. You know, you start, yeah. start eating like a little bit more like an adult, whatever that means. Um, so cooking is a big one, you know, I cook or bake or, um do something every day like i'll bake focaccia or fresh bread pretty much every day i find it to be therapeutic um i have a star in the fridge at the moment i'm gonna go add some take it out add some flour to it fill up the starter again i always have some bread going um love love sports like i've i love watching sports as well as a fan big fan of mma big fan of darts is another big one football um and then playing instruments i'm getting there like i play guitar a bit I played it a couple of years now um you can play uh, the mandolin for yourself when you're in the bath with the candles yeah, that's what <laughs> you're, you're giving me ideas here and I'll, I'll get a little i get a little mandolin but the, i have a little three quarter size guitar so it actually probably would fit in the bath with me mm-hmm. um but yeah they're, they're things i love and i also love marketing like i know it's business related but like you know outside of that i just love seeing marketing i love like what i mean by that is i guess i love um I love the psychology of human nature, which is something like I've, I read about all the time. I love kind of what makes people tick and what kind of makes people, um, what makes people act. So like a lot of behavioral psychology um, and what we can do not to influence behavior, but I just love more observing it at, at large and seeing what happens. And then I love reality TV. Like an example of that is I fucking enjoyed Love Island. I That's my guilty pleasure. I love Love nice. Island. <laughs> but that for me, I look at that and I look at that in terms of like, you know the not the drama i'm yeah. just like oh this is what i would have done or oh this makes sense as to why this happened and no you're obvious this is obviously going to happen no and you can see people <clears throat> walking themselves into positions into traps and you're like ah oh, for fuck's sake so that like that's they're all things that, that that get me going um i love a good rave as well i love a good rave um, i'm always i'm partial to one myself <laughs> yeah <I'll laughs> not as much partial. anymore but there was more than a few before. Yeah, I haven't been to a rave in, in ages now, but um, yeah, I love a good rave for, for now and then. I feel like it rejuvenates the soul. And I think the biggest thing is like, you know, I've gone to raves completely sober as well. The That's the somatic release. That's the, that's why people find it so, so um, I think so therapeutic. Because some people like talk about raves as therapeutic and like people who don't go to them or don't understand it, like what the, how is it therapeutic? It yeah. is. Like, when you're there from like some nights that I went to in Amsterdam, like you literally get to the event at 12 and you'd be there till seven. And it's the same thing as like when you're training or playing football or whatever, it's like, you're so present in the moment, like for those six or seven hours, you're not thinking about, Oh, like I forgot to do this thing. Or, you know, when I did this presentation three years ago, I messed up my words and everyone was like looking at me funny or, you know, like you don't have that, like, anxiety well i know i don't anyway and a lot of people probably don't as well and it's like anything that helps you get into the really present state is like super powerful so yeah it's great and obviously like i mean if you can do it while being sober that's great i mean if you enjoy a few drinks or whatever like it's no problem with that either like but yeah. whatever works best for you but yeah i think having that time out is super important because it's so easy to get caught up and just always like always being goals focused is i mean it's great to do that but it's like it takes a toll when it's if that's all that you do you know 100 percent. like i think you need to always have a goal but like you know what i mean like it's a saturday evening it doesn't need to, i can, it yeah. can wait until monday or it can wait until whenever um because i felt like that for a long time whereas like i wouldn't get to switch off or if i was switching off i wasn't present at all I'd be like, okay, I can't wait until this is done. I'm leaving at this time. So I go home to sleep for this time. Then I'm awake at this time. And then when I'm awake, I'm going to do this this time. And that wreaked havoc with me for a long time. So mm-hmm. having the 
wear it all just to again that is a form of self-regulation just going it's fine not that we sweep it under the rug and we'll deal with it tomorrow kind of thing but in a way where it's like it's fine that i'm not thinking about it right now i don't have to feel guilty when i not thinking about it and the biggest thing is i don't feel like i'm playing catch up when i go back to it yeah which is like it's just it's left off where it is um mm-hmm. yeah so again, they're all things they're all things i enjoy doing Nice. Yeah. An analogy. I like to use analogies for, for everything. It just, for my brain, I don't know. It just works well, but like on that same point of what you said, like the way I look at things is like, it's like a staircase. It's like every, every step that you take in the right direction, it, you know, is another step up and you're always like leveling up and the staircase is literally just like, there's no end to it. And so like it's very easy to get caught up in that of like oh like if i'm not always doing something it's like then like what's the point but when you when you look at it like that of like okay like i did you know these five amazing things monday through friday and i know that from my gratitude you know journal that i did this morning or whatever so that's five steps i've taken in the right direction like so then it's no problem for me to switch off today and tomorrow and i'll get back to it monday and then i'll just keep moving on up you know one thing at a time 